welcome. I said, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna make something that, I hate when people move their shoulders like this when they dance. And they be like, uh, 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 uh. I don't like that. Just be like, mm, 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 mm. Anyhow, so we are going to create something fun that is going to blow in the wind. It's summertime coming up, but it's still windy outside. It is hot today, but they said it's about to be cold for a very long time. So I thought something fun to make to bring some, some joyous sound to the front of your house or even inside by a window. Let's make a wind chime, you guys. You guys love wind chimes. I remember last year we made wind chimes with an awesome organization called Thingamajigs. And they came in with an actual laser and we like lasered holes and copper and stuff copper and stuff but we're not doing all that because we use what we have right and what we have in our house in order to make a wind chime when the wind blows uh our popsicle sticks caesar hot glue i don't know why i would need the exacto knife but i just have it because it's my best friend i have different things that clink here's the key like you need things that I have metal washers see these metal washers I have these metal washers and I have a centerpiece this is something different it clanks it's metal but I only have one of them so I'm gonna put it in the middle this is gonna be what things are gonna clank against okay so we've got this we've got this you can use keys old keys are the have the best sound all right and you can get a bell or two like some folks have bells I had some bells I couldn't find my bells so I just have this. I just have these for decorations. They don't necessarily clank, but I just put them there because I might want to put that on. You're going to need string. So those are the main things. String, popsicle sticks, clanky things, and scissors. I'll be right back. Okay. Our first step is to create the strings that everything is going to hang on. All right. You want to use twine. You don't necessarily want to use yarn, but even though... You can use yarn if you want because the things that you're attaching to the bottom are quite heavy, so it'll hold it down, but the twine is better. It'll blow in the wind and it won't get stuck to the other strings. Okay, so you, I'm going, I am gonna make 10 pieces of string and they all have to be different sizes. What I mean by different sizes is you've got a large one, one smaller than that, 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 smaller than that. Not different sizes as in one could be like this, the next one's like this, but the other one's like this too, but the next one's like this. No, none of them can be the same size. It has to go like this. Do, 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 You got it? Do, 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 Or you can do it another way and just go ahead and go in a circle, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do something a little bit more exotic here. So... I'm gonna cut my 10 pieces of string. I'm not gonna make them too long. My first piece, I'm gonna make about, my first piece is gonna be as how long the actual wind chime is gonna be. About this long, I'll go about that long. And I'm just gonna cut it. Use my baby scissors. Now we see how long that is. Let's, let's line up that second string. I know my little surface has stuff on it from creating mud but it dried so I want to go about right there and I'm gonna keep my strings lined up just so I know that I'm making sure that they're not all the same size and then now I'm going to go about right here now I'm going to go I'm sure you guys are getting it now I'm going to now I'm going to do you next See how they're all different sizes. And so many surprises. That was crazy. What motivated me to do that? But it felt fun. It felt fun, 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 fun. Look. How many do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. This one just looks like it's gonna fit anyway, as far as our pattern. Seven. Eight. One's gonna go straight down the middle. And the 
Let's make it about this big. This is the middle one. I'm just gonna put it over there. I'm gonna do another longer one. Let's see, how long is that? So about that long. Nine. So I'm just gonna do nine and the tenth one is the middle one. So, okay, man, come show them. So we've got all this hot glue. See how it goes smaller, smaller, bigger, 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 bigger. That's how it goes. Smaller, too bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay. Now, what we need to do is I'm gonna leave these laying here just because it feels easier for me, and I'm gonna attach some of these sounds, some of these things that are gonna jingle jangle together to create sound. I'm going to attach them together to the string. So I'm just gonna simply tie it on. I'm gonna show you first couple, then I'm gonna go ahead and do them real quick. So look, see what I'm doing? If you have washers, they're, they're kind of some of the best things to use because it's easy to just, there's a circle in the middle. So I've got one, bam. Then I'm going to tie the next one. I think you guys kind of get it. Let me tie the next one just to make sure you get it. Gotta tie a knot. Don't tie it too close because then you'll ruin the whole making it smaller and bigger situation. See, so now we've got something that looks like that. And I'm gonna keep putting these here. I'm gonna tie these on. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna tie this here. I'm gonna tie this here. So you can visually see that every single string needs to have one of those tied on there. So I'm gonna finish tying mine. You tie yours, whatever you're doing, using keys or whatever. If you're using something that doesn't have a hole in it, use your hot glue gun, just hot glue it on, okay? All right, I'll okay. see you in a sec. So now we have all of our strings with something heavy attached to the bottom. Our next step is to, these aren't going to make any noise clanking against each other here because they're not the same length. So I wanna put some of these clinkity sounding awesomenesses actually on the string. And I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun to do that. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, not too much, cause you don't want the glue to stop the clanking, right? And I'm literally just going to glue it on like this. There's one. Let's let it dry like that. Here's two. It's easy to just put it there. Go ahead and put that and just lay the string on it. See how I'm doing that? Let's get another one. I just wanna show you guys how fast you could do this. And if you're using, it doesn't matter what you're using. Same method, put the glue on, put that upside down and let it roll. Put that glue on. Actually, some of, some of those have way too much glue, but I think we're gonna hear some awesome clinking. I think I'm gonna put, so if you're gonna need less and less of these things that you're using, the metal pieces, as you continue on, because the string is going to get, obviously it's gonna get shorter and shorter, but it may not be obvious to everybody because you guys are little babies. Little babies learning to do. Look, look at that. Okay, let me lay back down, getting too happy here. All right, so I'm gonna do that with all of these. Let me do this one. So you guys see what I'm doing? I want you guys to do all of yours. Take whatever metal you're using and put it on all of the strings. Stop about right here. Stop about right there on every string. You know why? Because we need, well, stop about right there. Stop about right there. So you want this much left on every string so that we have space to attach the string to the base, the string, look at me, to the base that's gonna hold the wind chime. Okay, so I'm gonna finish putting these, you finish putting these. Okay, look at here. I have created all of my different size strings that I'm gonna hang from the base that we're about to create next. We have to create something that's gonna hold all these things. I have this 
first of all, because it's cool and I only have one, but it's metal and it clinkies. It's like a door, it's like a hook that you put on the wall. I'm gonna put this in the middle of all these things. All these things are gonna surround it like they're playing ring around the rosy. Okay, and then I also have, I found this really cool piece of this clock, so I also have this. I'm just gonna put it in the middle just because I think it's really cool. Okay, now we're gonna move these out of the way. Because we need to create, uh oh, these have to stay in order. I just thought of that. That's the middle. Longest, kind of longest. Then that. Then that. Oh, that needs another. This one needs another wash. So I'm going to give it a little bit. Give a little bit, uh, give a little bit to this one. Here you go. That. Zoom in. Be good. Here you go. And then the shortest one. We need to create the base. Popsicle sticks. See these popsicle sticks? We're going to use three for now. And I'm going to create a triangle I'm gonna hot glue a triangle because we are going I have nine strings here attached and then I have two that are gonna go in the middle so for the nine here that I have for these nine I'm gonna glue three on each side one two three one two three one two three but they have to be in order of size so what let's create this and we'll you'll see what I'm talking about I'm going to go like that I'm going to make it kind of fat like that. And I want that to look like this. Okay. So I'm going to put some glue. Oh, this glue is so good that it just pumps so fast. It pumps so much glue out. Now, do I think this is going to be strong enough to hold all these heavy tinger lingers? No, I don't. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna reinforce it with more popsicle sticks and more glue. I'm just gonna take this popsicle stick, put that on there, spread it like butter, baby. Here we go. Bam. And another reinforcer. I hate wasting stuff, but I guess that just happens to look better. I'm gonna hang this outside because I can I'll be able to know the weather without asking the weather channel. I'll just hear the wind chimes and it's gonna let me know that it's windy outside, which means it's going to be cold. It's going to be very cold. Okay. Now I have this. Right? So there's something that has to hang from the middle, but there's no middle. I need to put something here. That, I, that thing can hang on to. So I have a little stick, you can use a, a chopstick, a popsicle, like, like not maybe a popsicle stick, whatever, any kind of, any kind of anything. So I have this stick and I'm going to put it so that it crosses right through the middle. See this inner triangle? I want whatever stick I find to cross right through the middle there. We wanna hot glue it to cross right through the middle. So, I'm gonna break it because it doesn't have to be that big. It doesn't have to be that big necessarily. And I'm going to glue it on, just like we talked about, so that it hits right there in the middle. Let that dry. That's what the, our middle, that's what our center piece is going to hang from. Now it's starting the hard, now it's time to start the, the, the serious work here. We're going to attach these to this. But I want to attach a string, so just in case I need to hold it upright, I'm going to attach another string to this. So I'm just going to tie this string to this. So this is going to let me, while I'm creating, hold the um, wind chime up. I'll tell you where I mean by that. See what I'm doing? I'm just tying a knot here. You guys have enough light? Is there enough light? 
Come on. There we go. I'm just gonna tie a knot here. My hands have hot glue on them, so everything's sticking to them, but art's messy. So now I have, I can like, when I'm creating, I can just be like, I can hold it up. So we want this to be balanced, so I'm gonna move this. I wanna make sure this is balanced, so we'll move that to the center as best we can. Once we put the weight on there, we'll see what happens. Now, we're going to attach these pieces, three on each side. So let's take the longest three. One, I'm just gonna leave it laid down while I attach them. And I'm just gonna simply hot glue them. I'm not gonna do anything special like try to tie them down. Just gonna put that hot glue on there nice and good. You see that? See what I'm doing? One, let's get the next size one. that on two and let's get the next size on got to put these in order the size it's real important so it looks like a spire reminds me of being at the carnival there you go see how those are evenly spaced apart now we're gonna put the next three on this side. One, I'm honestly very curious as to what this is gonna look like, you guys, cause I'm doing this. Sometimes the stuff with, that I teach you guys, I literally be experimenting too. I like to have fun with you guys. You guys have comments, leave some comments and let me know if you guys, if something's too hard or you want me to, you have a request of something you want to do. I already told you guys that you could do that. You could do that too. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's the smallest one. Okay, here we go. This third one for this side. Right. And now I need to do the three for this side. Move that string over there. Here's one, two, and three. Ding! One, two, I'm trying to make them evenly spaced apart. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, ding, ding. Y'all don't know nothing about that either. Oh, happy Cinco de Mayo, by the way. Happy Cinco de Mayo. All right. Now, we have those things attached. Now we have this middle awesomeness and my clock that I found. I almost feel like I should just go ahead and attach the clock and this together. So I'm gonna cut the clock off of here. I'm gonna take this off. Because the clock is just pretty, so I want it on there. So I'm gonna hot glue this just because I feel like it. You know, things could be pretty. Look at that clock. This is like an antique. Like who knows where that came from, right? This is why I like reusable stuff and donated things because you like this is totally something we can probably paint and create and figure out how to create some marble paint together. I don't know, I'll brainstorm that. Okay. This is gonna go in the middle. So I'm gonna take this, cause I want to get confusing. And I'm just gonna pull it under. And I'm gonna tie it on the orange stick that I put on. Uh oh, tie it on there, get in there. That little bit of hot glue really does the, does the duty do on things.
God, this sounds beautiful. I really wanted to get it so that it stays up. But I'm sure yours will. Maybe I could make some type of... Because I want it to stay like this. Of course, we all want it to stay like this. I'm going to create something to make it stay like this. Isn't this cool? So you can hang this up like outside of your house. And when the wind blows, let me see. Just pretend the wind is blowing. Oh, now if the wind is blowing like this, then that means there was some type of hurricane. So let me show you guys what to do if this happens. Cause that was a good example. It should be pretty easy to untangle. That's why we made all of them um, different sizes. It's easier to untangle something like that. So, you know, when you're untangling something, you really just take your time and get it done, see? So here is my wind chime, and I'm going to figure out how to make a handle. Give me a couple of seconds. We're gonna figure out how to make this thing. Hey, okay, you guys. So I have added my handle here. I just added something. You guys can figure it out. You'll have to find something just to stabilize it. There's nothing special. I just grabbed something off the table. Like there was nothing I could find. I just put it together. But when the wind blows, when the wind blows. Look at my wind chime. Chime. Go ahead and chime. Go ahead and chime. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> I love y'all. Wind chime.